YouTube, how's it going tonight? Swamp Piper 84 coming your way with yet another video. Uh, tonight I am smoking the Delmar pipe that Smoking Rooster restored and gave away in his uh, contest winning. This thing does smoke amazing. And in it, I have a little bit of Orlick Golden Sliced. A good old classic right there. <coughs> now, the purpose of this video tonight is showing off the cellar, or the rest of the cellar, <clears throat> that I didn't show off in the actual cellar tour. Uh, I mentioned that I was going to show off the Cornell and Deal line uh, all on its own, so here it is. Alright guys, here's a collection of uh, Cornell and Deal company tobaccos. I'll go through them real quick. Uh, over here is the Cornell and Deal. These are the flakes that I have. Starting up here with Manhattan Afternoon. That's uh, Virginia's with a little bit of honey added to it. Really good stuff. Exhausted Rooster. Great stuff. Uh, Burley, uh, Perique, and uh, Virginia. So, it's a broken flake. Uh, Burley Flake 1, 2, 3, and 4. I've tried one and three, uh, two and four. I still haven't tried, but if you guys haven't seen it, matches eight six zero did a really good uh, series on those. Down here is opening night, I do believe. Yep, this is a uh, red and bright Virginia pressed to perfection. And this is Sunday picnic. And it says. Uh, Golden Virginias are combined with Perique and Izmir Turkish for a delicious and memorable flake tobacco. And right down here is Star of the East Flake. Uh, it's, um, a lot of people say that this tastes like Penzance, which I can't say if it does or not because I haven't been able to try Penzance, but I do like this a lot. Moving over here, uh, you got their Cellar Series. I got two of those, Ocali and Joy de Vive. Uh, not bad. Then you got some of the classics, uh, the Three Friars, a Banner Daydream, and Epiphany. I like this one, I like that one, and I don't like Epiphany. <clears throat> uh, these are the Englishes right here. Uh, you got Junkyard Dog, Black Duck, Cross-Eyed Cricket, which is like an English aromatic. It has a rum punch flavor. Really good stuff. Uh, Morning Drive Time, Montford Point Marine, Buffalo Soldier, and First Responders. I have not tried any of these four yet. Uh, then over here is the Crumble Cakes from Cornell and Deal as well. We've got a 5 o'clock shadow, which is really good. Uh, Dark Fired, uh, Kentucky. Yeah, it says uh, Red Virginia is in Perique, pressed into a cake, and a touch of Dark Fired Kentucky. So, that's good stuff. Briar Fox, also really good. Cajun Cake, one of my favorite stuff. <clears throat> Red Virginia and Perique pressed into a cake. And we got Bow Legged Bear down here. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, down through here is the aromatic line that they have. Uh, Gentleman Collar. I don't know if this is really an aromatic or not, but it has deer tongue in it, which adds that vanilla flavor. Uh, or weird vanilla flavor. Uh, this isn't bad. It's definitely an unusual smoke, but not bad. It's that deer tongue. If you guys haven't tried deer tongue, this is probably a good one to try. Uh, autumn Evening. I love this one. It's Maple in Red Virginia. Uh, chocolate Cavendish. Not bad. Nutty Irishman. Uh, this one's still... I don't know. I'm still kind of eh about it. And this one down here is uh, We Three Kings, I do believe. Yes. This is like the Christmas blend. Really cool. Now, uh, moving over here, we have the GLPs line. Uh, I found out not too long ago, actually by watching uh, Public Piper's uh, video on the Cornell and Deal factory tour, that they actually made the uh, GLPs as well. So, going through here, we have this is the old London series, and I have Sextant, Gaslight, Quiet Nights. I really like Quiet Nights, Navigator, and Sixpence. You can tell I really like Sixpence. Over here is the Fog City Collection. This is Embarcadero. Really good stuff. It's uh, Red Virginia and uh, Turkish Orientals. 
And down here is Montgomery. Uh, the label fell off of this one, but it's pretty good. Uh, Virginia's and Dark Fired Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, over here is the Artisanal Tobaccos. This is the only one I have is Key Largo. I love this stuff. Uh, I got the cigar leaf in it with the Red Virginia and a little splash of Latakia. Pretty good. Right here we have the New World Series, which is Triple Play and Jack Knife Plug. Both are great plugs, so if you're looking to uh, get into plug tobacco, uh, Triple Play and Jack Knife are definite good picks for it. Then over here we have uh, to see original mixers, which is Cairo and Haddo's Delight, both of which are really good. Haddo's Delight, if I'm not mistaken, is for uh, yeah Perique lovers. So yeah, really good stuff over here. And one that actually ties both companies together, besides you know Cornell and Neal actually making the tobacco for Greg Peace, is Two Friends Pipe Tobacco. This is Heritage. This is really good. It's red and lemon Virginia is blended with unsweetened Cavendish. Really, really good. And a uh, bit of uh, burley is added to it. So this is made by uh, Craig Toller and Greg Peace got together before Craig Toller passed away. And he is uh, one of the founders of Cornell and Dale. Craig Toller was. But anyways, guys, I'll be right back with you. Yeah. I really, really like Cornell and Deal uh, Company's line. Um, there's only a handful of them that I've tried that I haven't liked. Um, uh, mainly the Epiphany is uh, the one that I didn't really like. Uh, a couple of the Englishes. Uh, I'll have to try the Englishes later on. Uh, just because right now I'm not really a fan of Latakia. Which is weird because I started off smoking Englishes and everything else. And Right now, it's all about, well, Ozark Hill, but said it best. Anything with Virginia in it. So. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. And, yeah. If you guys have any questions about the Cornell and Deal uh, tobaccos that I have, uh, just let me know. I'll um, uh, answer your questions through a, a message or try to do a little review and make a video of it. So, alright, guys. Till next time.